Welcome to the WHHI Daily News. I'm Robin Zimmerman. Let's begin with a few news headlines. The State Realtors Association says the Hilton Head area, which includes Bluffton, has the most expensive homes in the state with a median price of $495,000 in May, up 21% from a year ago. Buford's median house went for $370,000 in May, uh, 17% higher than last May. Now, the only housing market in the state that did not rise by double digits between May of 21 and last month was the PD, up only 5%. And festival season in the Low Country even runs during the week. This week, the 80th Hampton County Water Festival returns after two years off for COVID. Monday included the Youth Parade and Taste of Hampton County, and Saturday there'll be a grand parade through Varnville and Hampton. And you can find out more at hcmelonfest.org. Town and county governments have to have their budgets done by July 1st. And most low country towns are keeping tax rates the same or even lowering them. Buford County's budget is on their website and faces a final vote next Monday. Now, the county doesn't want to change the millage rate either, relying on a 7% increase in projected tax revenue to fund a $6.2 million increase in the budget. Now, we told you last week about the county establishing its own pathology department to perform autopsies, and the county is also establishing a 60 and better program to provide new leisure activities and events and better meal services to seniors countywide. There's also almost a million dollars for new EMS equipment and 12 million to finish a new EMS headquarters. And we love to tell you about folks from the Low Country competing for national recognition. That we can watch on TV, things like American Idol and Wheel of Fortune. Even our own WHHI sales coordinator, Jessica Surratt's hubby, will be in an episode of American Dream Home. The show is on the Fox Business Network in prime time, and he just wrapped up fil filming this past weekend. He's a longtime Buford resident and realtor. And now, how about a four-year-old flat-coated retrie retriever named Ruger? from Latitude Margaritaville, who's competing in the Westminster Kennel Club dog show this week, chauffeured by his humans, James and Suzanne Reynolds Brady. Most of the group competitions will be uh, on Tuesday with the best of show on Wednesday. You can see it all on Fox Sports or WestminsterKennelClub.org. For more information on these stories and many more, please check out the media sources listed on the screen. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at WHHITV. And check us out on our website at WHHI, WHHITV.com. And if you have a news story, uh, a news tip, or a cool weather photo, well, just email it to us at news at WHHITV.com. And now let's take a turn and get an update on sports with Justin Jarrett. Justin? Hey Loco sports fans and WHHI viewers, it might be the longest day of the year, but it's still the fastest minute and a half in local sports. It's time for the Tuesday edition of Last Night in the Loco on WHHI, powered by Locosports.com. After a couple nights off from the Dixie Youth Baseball grind, we will fire it back up Wednesday night at Crossings Park with the 10 and under AAA District Tournament. Hilton Head has already captured the 8U and 12U district titles, and the Island Boys should be the favorites to finish the sweep and punch their ticket to the state tournament. But two Bluffton teams, as well as squads from Beaufort, Colleton County, and Hampton County will have something to say about that. We'll have coverage through the championship game on Sunday. And with a slower news day, let's give out an overdue shout out to a loco student athlete who is headed to the next level. Whale Branch basketball star Canoe Barnwell is headed up the road to Columbia to play for Allen University. Barnwell is this five foot nothing point guard with quick hands and a quicker shot from the outside. And they might want to put her on the track team too because she's a state champ in the 400 meter hurdles who also found the podium in the long jump and the 100 hurdles last month at the state meet. Always great to see a loco talent headed to the next level and we wish Canoe the best up at Allen. That does it for today. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco. Thank you, Justin. Maria, it's been kind of nice. Humidity has been low. Temperatures are going to creep up again. Give us an update on the weather. Thanks, Robin. All right, taking a look at the weather for the rest of this week, it looks like the temperatures are going to get even higher. Wednesday, it's going to be sunny with Hilton Head having a high of 88, a low of 75. Bluffton's going to have a high of 94, a low of 71. And Buford's going to have a high of 95 and a low of 72. 
The sunrise for Wednesday is going to be at 617 and sunset's going to be at 832. Taking a look at the beach tides, low tide's going to be at 1157 a.m. and high tide's going to be at 511 p.m. Taking a look into the rest of the week, Thursday is going to be partly cloudy with highs in the upper 90s. Buford is actually going to get up to 99 degrees and lows are going to be in the 70s. On Friday, it's going to be partly cloudy as well with highs in the 90s and lows in the 70s. And then come Saturday, there's a slight chance of thunder showers throughout the day with highs in the 80s and lows in the 70s. That's it for today. Let's head it back to the desk. Thank you, Maria. After the break, we're going to find out about the firecracker run going on in Buford on July 4th. Stay tuned.